Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, the 2nd of September, 3 o'clock in the morning. I want you to watch and follow along with me today on my adventure, which will eventually lead to me summiting uh, Ben Nevis in Scotland. But today, this journey is going to be on how am I going to get from Wexford all the way to um, Fort William in, uh, in Scotland. So stay with me. I'll sh we're just going to start with the first part of the journey, which will be me walking towards the uh, Maldron Hotel, which the first leg of my trip will be, I'm going to take a bus from Wexford bus onto the, uh, the quay in Dublin. And then from there, we'll see what happens next. So stay with me, please. Here's the bus coming. So come and join me for my adventure on how I get to uh, Fort William. Morning. Very good, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. So that's the first part of my journey done. Just got off the uh, Wexford bus. And the uh, the key in Dublin. There's the customs house, just right over here. Now it is exactly 20 to 6. The next part of my journey doesn't start until 7:15. But you'll have to stay with me um, to see what what's the next step of the journey. Right now, I'm just gonna look around Dublin, find something to maybe get a coffee or something to eat for breakfast. But in the meantime, stay tuned and watch for the next part of the, the trip and to see how am I gonna to get to Fort William. Okay, so it appears I have like about a 33 minute walk to get to the next part of the stage. So I have to walk uh, quite a distance along the quay Here's Dublin at uh, quarter to six in the morning. Now I have a lot of time, like I said, I don't have to be at my next point of contact till 7.15, so I don't have to rush, but it's a fair, it's a fair walk anyways, in the early, early hours in Dublin. Now, there's still a long way till I get to, uh, to Scotland and Ben Nevis, so there's a lot of challenges ahead. Now, just quickly about the, uh, the bus the bus was very quiet and dark so I couldn't do any vlogging during the bus there was a couple of people in it sleeping and it was pitch black and there was no no visibility outside the windows really everything was dark so it was pretty uneventful I did manage to get a little bit of sleep um, I didn't I didn't sleep well uh, this evening after work I was like uh, like a boy waiting for Christmas to come and uh, Santi and that so I was looking forward to this trip for a while. So I'll get back to when we get close. I think there's a few coffee places coming up. As I'm walking by here, look at this statue. Connell Street statue. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up there, but uh, there's nobody much around. Here's, here's the Dublin there. Even Starbucks isn't even open yet. It's still early. Anyways, I'll make my way towards something anyways. I had to uh, take the GoPro off the stick. I put the stick in the backpack just because there was, you know, I forgot if this hour of the morning, a lot of people hanging around Dublin that, you know, you have to take some caution. You know, there's a lot of homeless here. I seen a lot of people sleeping by the doors, the doorways, and then in the middle, in the key, there was a bunch of young people hanging around, and 
I'd say they were off their face in that so I thought it was more prudent just to take my GoPro off the stand keep it in my pocket and then just use it when it's safe until I get to the place where I'm going to meet the next part of my trip anyways keep informed don't know if you can make it out with the GoPro across the road there's the uh, St. James's Gate uh, Guinness uh, where they produce all the Guinness that gets distributed everywhere Quite a premise. Just thought I'd show you as I'm walking by. Okay, so I'm at my meeting point for my next leg of my journey, and you can see the sign that says coaches. We're right opposite the Ashling Hotel, and I'm waiting for a group uh, from Mountain Travelers. Our mountain trail sorry we're gonna head off to um, head off towards Belfast and we're gonna take the ferry over to Scotland so I'm just gonna wait here I'm gonna enjoy a little flapjack and we'll just uh, we'll just wait for everyone to show up I still have a long time I have about 45 minutes till they get here well good morning everyone our little bus is here there's a group of about I'd say 18. I was just chatting with them all beforehand, so we're looking forward to the trip up to Belfast, and then we're going to get on the ferry, I believe, at half 11, and head over towards Scotland. So here's the bus that will be taking us up there. And it has a trailer in the back for our, our kit. Okay, so we're in the bus. Here's the... Uh, and we're gonna get ready to uh, drive up to uh, Belfast. <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, so we arrived in Belfast. We're in queue, waiting to board the ferry. It was pretty uh, seamless. Now we're just waiting to get in line to uh, get board up, and then maybe stretch the legs on the ferry. Nice to feel the legs moving again. Ah, oh, that's it. Jeez, they were getting a little stiff there. Ouch. Not much room in that back, eh? If you're waiting to do this of oil, have you? <laughs> huh? Have you been waiting to do Ben Nevis of oil? I just picked it up as it uh, just came out. I never even thought about it before until I saw it on Facebook. Yeah. Because I only started walking in the last couple of years when I was getting ready to have cancer, so I had to get myself in shape. 
And then when I did that, I said, ah, I'll do the uh, Camino. And then after the Camino, I got in the bug. And now I want to go to... Uh, want to go to the... I'm oh, going yes. to uh, Everest Base Camp uh, next year or something like that. So okay. I figured this would be a good training for it, you know. There we go. I don't know where it was that we... Good morning. Good morning. There you go. I think it's something to eat or drink. And I haven't had anything since uh, 1 o'clock last night, so probably get something here. Alrighty, let's take a walk outside. Hopefully we don't need them. There's the after the ship. There's Belfast. Bunch of cars. Lorries. Cars is in the middle somewhere. So that's the ferry ride. I think I'm gonna go in, have a cup of tea, warm myself up. It's quite a, kind of uh, wet out here. Plans are that we're going to, uh, when we get off, we're gonna drive. It's about a three and a half hour drive. We're gonna stop at a co-op to get some groceries so we can uh, make breakfast and our dinners and stuff. And uh, tomorrow morning we're gonna get up and head out to Van Nevis. Hopefully the weather is, you know, good enough for us, but it is what it is. We can't control the weather. All right, so signing off for now. Okay, so I don't know if you hear me, it's gale force wind coming in. We're heading into uh,
just outside of Glasgow, about 15 miles or so. And from Glasgow, I think it's still another, let's say at least another hour and a half till we get to uh, the chalets that we're staying for the night. <laughs> but there's some nice scenic views along the way. Traffic hasn't wasn't too bad. It was congested a little bit before by the airport, but it's, uh, it's going on pretty good, and we're making good time. All right, we just took a pit pit stop here. We're just getting out That's where our luggage and our backpacks are. Here's the first view of the mountains around. There's a lock there. This is not the ones we're going to be climbing tomorrow and Sunday, but it's a nice view. Just to stretch the legs, my legs are a little bit jelly. It's uh, almost half five, so I left the house at three o'clock yesterday morning. Last slept was, I got up at six o'clock uh, in the morning on Thursday. It's a little windy, overcast. But it's actually quite warm. I just have my t-shirt on, so it's not too bad. Could be worse. I think we're almost there about, so we just have to go for a little bit more. Then we're going to a co-op, which is a, like a grocery store, get some supplies, and then head to the cabin. So here's the area around where we are. It's quite lovely. And that's it for now. Now we're at the co-op. Gonna get some uh, breakfast stuff, some stuff to bring up to the mountains, and some dinner items for the next few days. So. We're seeing what we can get. I don't want to carry the water. <laughs> Alrighty. Two apples. Crisp made some crisps.
or soya? They have soya. I think they're out of soya. Shoot. Find pasta. There you go, you found your porridge. Oh, that's what I needed, uh, nuts. I found nuts that will do. I didn't find the ones I wanted, but um, right there, just straight there with the baking stuff. Okay, and
Let's wait to go to the hill. Morning. It's Saturday the 3rd of September. Um, just woke up. It's about 6.30 now. I've uh, got the kettle on to get a coffee. Uh, just going to show you quickly the outside of the place and then later I'm going to show you a bit of the, the room tour where we're staying. So here's the outside view of the So we're staying up in the mountains and then here's the little cottages that we're staying so there's uh five of us in here i'll just go show you what it's like inside here's the main area sitting room tv a small little Alley kitchen. And then there's a bathroom there to my bedroom, and then upstairs. You have two bedrooms like this. So it's quaint, tight, but it's sufficient. The weather was really, really rough last night. Um, today it's supposed to be bad as well. So we're changing plans. We're not going to go to Ben Nevis today. We're going to do it tomorrow because the winds on the top of Ben Nevis today is uh, supposedly going to be around 100 mile kilometers an hour. Tomorrow it should be about 50, which makes it more doable. So the weather's going to be rough. Could be a wet one. But stay tuned and see how it goes. And you'll see where I'm going up today. Just a typical shower, toilet, and the 